That night, the three engines had an indignation meeting. It's shameful to treat tender engines like this. Henry gets spitted on by an elephant. I have to go backwards and people think I'm a tank engine. James spins around like a top and everyone laughs at us. And to add to that, Sir Topham Hat makes us all shunt at dirty sightings! <laughs> yeah, this goes beyond all points of stupid and humiliating. So, what is what I gonna do? Alright boys, listen up. He whispered something to the others. Hi man. Me too! Okay good, we'll do it tomorrow. Sir Topham Hat will look silly. I may be giving away spoilers, but... <clears throat> the engines have decided to go on strike! Phew! It's about time I got a bigger scene in this reader. So, we've got problems. What kind of problems? There's trouble when you said so. Henry is soaking, there's no train, the passengers are saying this is a bad railway. I can't find a bathroom! Yeah, so what else is new? And one of them just beat up the Congo guy. <gasps> no? Corn dogs? I can't allow that! Daddy, look! There's a penguin on that cart! Shut up, Bradley. Alright, now listen up, everybody! I apologize for my lack of trace, and I will take care of the matter immediately! And someone's gonna have their boilers mounted on a wall and through of them. I STILL CAN'T FIND THE BATHROOM! He found Gordon, James, and Henry looking very cross. WE ARE VERY, very cross. CROSS! Come along, Henry. It's time your train was ready. Henry isn't going anywhere! I'm not? No, you're not, Henry. We won't shut like little tank engines. That was Thomas's job. We are important tender engines. Yeah, fatty. You fetch our coaches, and we will pull them. And furthermore, tender engines don't, don't shunt. Shunt. shunt! Oh, indeed. We'll see about that. Engines on my railway do as they are told. No engine is too important for small jobs. The yard has never been the same since Thomas left the yard to win his branch line. But maybe Edward can help. Edward was busy shunting. Leave those trucks, please, Edward. I want you to push some coaches for me in the yard. Thank you, sir. That will be a nice change. That's a good engine. Off you go, then. So Edward brought coaches for the three engines, and that day, the trains ran as usual. Pfft. Kiss up. But next morning, Edward looked very unhappy. Hey, trainer! Shoe on this! Burst my gallbladder! What a noise! They all hiss me, sir. They say tender engines don't shunt. And last night they said I have gray wheels. I haven't, have I, sir? <sighs> no, Edward. You have nice blue ones, and I'm proud of you. Tender engines do shunt. All the same, we do need another tank engine around here. And as you can see here, we have a wide variety of engines for you to look at. And after several desperate engines later, he finally found a smart little green engine with four wheels. This will have to do. Now, little engine, if I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir! That's a good engine. I'll name you... Percy! 
Percy! Because I once knew a cupcake named Percy! Yay! Thank you, sir! And Sir Topham Hat brought Percy back to the yard. Edward, here's Percy. Will you show him everything? Percy soon learned what he had to do, and they had a lovely afternoon. I'm going to ask at you! Wish! Oh! Sky Stephen! <laughs> How beautifully you wished him! I can't wish like that! Oh, that's nothing! You should hear them in the workshop! You have to wish loudly just to make yourself heard! Next morning, Thomas arrived. Hey, you must be the new engine. I'm Thomas. Hi, Thomas! I'm Percy! Sir Topham Hutt sent for me. I expect he wants help. Shh! Shut your snack hole! Here he comes! Well done, Thomas! You've been quick! Okay, listen up. Henry Gordon and James are sulking. They say they won't shunt like little tank engines. So I have shut them up, and I want you both to run the line for a while. Little tank engines indeed! Well, show them! And Percy here will help too. Oh, sir, yes, sir, please, sir! Okay, take it easy, you little 